folks, and welcome to another podcast on a biogeochemical cycle known as the carbon-oxygen cycle. The carbon is very important to living things because it's the backbone element for all organic compounds, so it's very important. Oxygen plays a secondary role in the structure of organic compounds, it plays a bigger role in some of the metabolic activities of cells, which is for another podcast. We're going to start with carbon dioxide in the air. Your air is made up of less than 1% carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is not an organic compound, but it is taken up by plants and made into organic compounds through the process of photosynthesis. They incorporate carbon dioxide into sugars or food for the plant to use. A byproduct of that process of photosynthesis is oxygen. So 20% of the air that you breathe is oxygen gas and we have plants to thank for that. Plants and consumers will take in that food and use it for energy as well as to build their cells. Now in the process of respiration the byproduct of carbon dioxide is released and that goes back into the atmosphere to be cycled through again. Now the carbon cycle is complete there but there are some other players in this game. All that carbon that's locked up in living things, both living plants and, and, and animals, uh, needs to be released back in the atmosphere once the organism dies or creates waste. So decomposers in the soil can break down any dead organic compounds and release that carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere, again completing the carbon dioxide cycle. All of that vast organic material got buried under volcanic activity and the right geological conditions occurred for that material be, to be turned into fossil fuels we know as coal, oil, and natural gas. And that locked up an awful lot of carbon dioxide for many millions of years. It's not released to the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. However, in the past hundred years, the Industrial Revolution has been mining an awful lot of that oil and coal and burning it for energy to fuel our cities and our, our vehicles. Uh, we make electricity with it, and we, we run a, a lot of our planes and automobiles. And that releases a tremendous amount of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere as well. Now, as you might know, carbon dioxide is what we know as a greenhouse gas. The greenhouse gases are any gas that trap heat on the Earth's surface. You see, sunlight comes into the Earth, it warms the Earth, and tries to escape as heat, especially at night. But the greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide suspected as one of them, will keep it a, sort of a blanket over the earth to, to keep it warm. And so we have a global warming as an, as an effect. Now this is a controversial issue and I, I, I encourage you to read more about it. We will talk about it more in class. Uh, lately we've been talking in the press more of uh, global climate change and we have global warming but carbon dioxide is considered a greenhouse gas. That, compete, that completes our podcast on the carbon dioxide cycle. I hope this was helpful. Watch it again if you have any questions. Bring them to class.